In this video, I'm going to talk about three secrets to achieve your dreams, whatever they may be, whether they be monetary, you want to be famous, you want to break through as a writer or whatever it is that you want. These are three things that you need to fully understand in order to have, have success. And I can pretty much guarantee you that number one is to understand the sacrifice that you will be making. Now, answer this question for me. What did you do today? I'm assuming you're watching this on a weekday, but if you aren't, what did you do on the last weekday? Did you do any of those things, whatever the answer is, for you and only for your own success? Or did you do some of the things for to please the people you live with? relatives, a significant other, or simply take care of your job because you have to, because you need money to get by. And I'm not just talking about doing things for you in the sense of buying a new hoodie that you wanted or treating yourself at the spa or whatever it may be. That's not the kind of things I'm talking about. That is not something you do for you. Doing things for you is doing things that will bring you closer to your dreams and aspirations and long-term goals. Sometimes when I run into people that I haven't seen for a while, they and they ask me, so, hey, so how, are you, what, how are you doing? Like, what are you doing? And I tell them what I'm doing and how things are going. And they're like, how did you pull that off? Like, you must have been really lucky. Like, lucky? Are you kidding me? It has nothing to do with luck. It has hardly even anything to do with talent. We can return to that in a while, but it has to do with understanding that you can actually realistically achieve a lot of things, but it really takes dedication and it just takes you understanding that you will be making a sacrifice and that sacrifice will be all the things that you used to think that you did for you. Chilling on the couch, right? You're, there's not going to be any chilling on the couch. <laughs> or at least there's going to be a very minimal amount of chilling on the couch. There's not going to be you just hang out with friends of, on weeknights, anything like that. You won't have time for that because it's really about putting the hours into it. So that's number one. Understand the sacrifices you will be making because you will be making a lot of sacrifices for a year or five years maybe, but you will be doing that so that you can fully realize your potential, whatever it is you're dreaming of, once that time has passed. And you will learn to love it. And if you work with dedication and passion, it's gonna be so fulfilling and rewarding. But it will feel counterintuitive in the first, if for the first long time that you're doing it. Number two. And this sounds like a cliche, but there's a lot to be said about it. Actually, you have to surround yourself with people who support you. And I'm not just talking support you as in they pick you up when you're sad or something like that. I'm talking who support and at the very minimum, respect your long term vision, respect your dreams and want to see you realize these goals and dreams. Now, a little anecdote from my own life. I have an ex-wife and I remember when I was married to her, one day she said, I don't remember the conversation we had, but pretty much out of the blue, she said, man, I really hope you never become famous. And I, I asked her, I was like, why? why? Why don't you want me to be famous? Like, I don't think I could handle it. You know, just all the people coming up to you and all the women that will be attracted to you if you were famous. And honestly, I didn't, you know, I just, brushed it off and laughed at it and you know like oh okay that's that's silly you know but back then I had the dream to become an actor and I was actually actively pursuing it I was going to auditions I even had a few appearances on TV back this is a while back right but without me even noticing I stopped going to auditions I stopped pursuing that dream and I didn't even notice it wasn't as as if I thought like Oh, she doesn't want me to do that. I better just, you know, stop, stop doing that. 
nothing like that but it affects your subconscious mind and now I'm in a completely different relationship I get a lot of support even though my wife doesn't necessarily understand all the aspects of my dreams or you know, why I want this or why I want to do that she still supports me because she can tell that I'm thriving and I support her in her dreams so and I've seen it over and over again and I've never ever in my life met anyone who was in a relationship or who was surrounded by people who really had some sort of interest in them not succeeding who succeeded so it's really really crucial and if you live with someone and you're not quite sure if these people actually support you in your dream and one thing is just like supporting oh of course hon, I'll, I'll support you in whatever you you want to do right no I'm not and I'm not talking about them like helping necessarily it's not about that it's strictly psychological I'm just talking about where whether they actually wish for you to succeed that's it that's all you need but you probably need to have that conversation with the people that surround you you need to tell them you know what I've decided I'm gonna go for this I this is what I've always wanted I am gonna actually do it now and ask them how does that make you feel how do you feel about that and you need to make sure you need to make them understand that this is so important to you that they are basically saying I don't give a shit about you if they don't support you in this dream you have number three understand that you are not hardwired for success now over the thousands of years that have passed since we became more or less what we are today what have we been hardwired to do to procreate and to survive that's of course there's a little more to be said about that but that is the very basics of it now surviving and procreating honestly in the modern world I don't even care where you live in the world there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that if that's all you want is to survive and procreate you're probably gonna succeed with that but that's not why you're watching this video you're watching this video because you want more than just that you want a slice of a bigger cake and let me just tell you right away you are gonna make that cake you can easily bake that cake you all you need is a recipe and the ingredients and they're out there I used to think I used to tell my friends oh man if only I had a million dollars or actually I would say a million kroner because that's what we used where I'm from which is hundred and fifty thousand dollars so if I only had hundred and fifty thousand dollars I could really make some serious money but now I realize that is so stupid that is so stupid now I have hundred and fifty thousand dollars but and, but I'm also realizing that I could have made money all the time I didn't need money what I really needed was psychological help and I don't mean that in any clinical way I don't mean to say that I was I had mental issues or anything like that I just mean that I didn't understand that it's really almost exclusively about the mindset and the secret that I'm going to tell you is that we are not inherently made for success our physical bodies us as humans if we do what is most comfortable doing all the time we're not going to have success because that which feels most comforting and safe and intuitive is almost always something that number one keeps us safe and that's safe equals status quo more or less and number two it also never brings anything new with it right it's basically just like being part of the group whatever group you're part of we're all, we're all part, part of many groups of course but just be part of the whatever group you find yourself in on a daily basis and just do what the others do and you know and expect something else to happen that's not gonna happen you are gonna have to learn about how you function as a human being and I'm, I'm not talking about your unique personality I'm talking about the flaws that we all have because we're humans confirmation bias just to mention one thing that if we already think something to be true we will see arguments and, and uh, phenomena supporting that notion even though you know even though that notion is wrong it's the same thing when you listen to people for advice 
if those people don't know anything about what they're talking about, it doesn't really matter because we can pretty much make anything sound as if it makes sense, unless we're presented with a counter argument. And that's what I'm giving you right now. I'm giving you the counter argument. I'm telling you, regardless of, you know, how good an upbringing you have, regardless of how many degrees you have, and I have a couple degrees, so I know actually, those degrees, they, well, they made me who I am today. So I'm not going to say they were wasted time, but I'm certainly not saying that I am successful because of those degrees or because of the upbringing I had or because of me just being this biological entity. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the mindset. Educate yourself on how human beings are. Social psychology is extremely important, but also just, you know, yeah, just the way we all tick. So when I tell you to choose yourself, I'm talking about not choosing what the monkey you wants, but I'm talking about choosing that which your conscious being, whatever that is, wants, desires. And, and again, not desires in a, oh, I've, I, I want to hook up with this person or I, I really want this new car or not, not that type of desire, but the desire to break free of the rat race, desire to be on the big screen as one of my aspirations was, and I have been on the big screen, still working on it, still a work in progress, but the main takeaway is just hard work. Keep at it. Understand your own limitations. Understand that even though you think you're good at something, you can always improve. There is no such thing as perfect. Perfect is it's actually a really stupid word. I've, I've stopped using it almost, unless of course I'm criticizing people who still use it. But it's really crucial to understand these things. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, press the little bell icon as well. I will make more videos where I tell you the truths that you don't want to hear, but that you really need to hear. Thanks for watching.